and just like in every Zelda game I've ever played, Link can never get a good night's sleep. Hey, Link! Huh? Still sleeping? Ah! Wake up! God dang it! Ugh. Every time. What? Come on! How long are you going to sleep, Link? Do I have to wake you up every morning? I have chores to do. I'll be waiting outside, so get up and let's get going. Fine. Bratty kid. Papa was really angry. He said that you can't be a blacksmith if you don't get up at the crack of dawn. Ooh. Oh, crap. Well, I guess we know what my job description is. I'm Link, the Blacksmith's Apprentice. Welcome, guys, to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds with the Nintendo 3DS. Now I'm going to be playing Hero Mode. I just recently 100%ed the game, so I was able to unlock Hero Mode. And I want to see if I can do it, if I can 100% the game a second time on a difficulty where everything's double damage. So let's do this. Everyone see the Majora's Mask in that room? Hinting for a remake. Papa's steaming mad that you're late again. Come on, let's get to his shop. All right, let's fall. Golly, holy God! No, 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 no. Ow. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to check in here. What? What do you mean where? Yeah, dude, where? With the weather vane here. Always give that a spin when you pass by. That'll let you save. Papa says you should always do that. Hmm. Not really sure what saving is. I'm just a kid. Nobody tells me anything. Anyway, I'm going to run ahead. Catch up. Catch up after you spin that vein, Link. Okay, so kind of like in Skyward Sword, these things veins are your method of saving the game. A new weather vane has been added to the map. These will come in handy, so every time you see a weather vane, you want to actually talk to it. Saving. Okay, saving complete. Later on, we're going to get fast travel, so the only way to fast travel is if you have the uh, weather vanes activated, so the only way to do that is to talk to them. So, I'm letting you know this right now. Fast travel, weather vane. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, Gully went this way. Oh, he's fast. You'd better head inside. My papa's waiting, Link. Okay. Let's go. Into the blacksmiths. Alright. So tell me, how's that shield suit you, Captain? Sabam! Work as always! But I'd expect nothing less from a master. I do what I can, Captain. Also, helps. Also helps that I've uh, good source of ore. That shield's tougher than ever now. I wouldn't trust my gear with anyone else. No one's can. No one can bring the best out of a sword quite like you. So if you'll excuse me, it's time that I forge ahead. Busy day. I see what he did there. Forge, forging sword. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Oh, who's this? Well, well. If it isn't Link. Slept late again. You sure? You, you sure you cut out to be a blacksmith? It's not my business to say, but you'd better mend your ways, lad. There's no future in being a layabout. Don't judge me. <laughs> Late again! Well, come on, get over your time to get to work, Link. Ah, oh, fine. God dang it. <gasps> oh, my! What? The captain left without taking his new sword. What? He's gone off unarmed. Lucky you, instead of getting an earful, you've got an errand, Link. Take that sword and hurry after the captain. Okay. You got the captain's sword, now deliver it. <laughs> okay. I'm having way too much fun with this. Hurry, run after the captain. What now? Do you know where to go? Where else? He's got to be headed back to Hyrule Castle. You still groggy? Fine, look, I marked it on your map, so get a move on. I love having two screens. That way I can have the map on the lower screen, and on the top screen I have nothing but gameplay. No need for pausing. So it's kind of cool how it shows uh, Link actually holding the sword on his side, all wrapped up and stuff. Alright, let's go to Hyrule Castle and deliver this sucker. Morning, Link! What brings you here so early? Delivery for the captain? 
He's not at the castle. I know he was headed to your master's shop. Oh, you bumped into him there? Well, I know he was planning on visiting the sanctuary. In bold letters, he probably got hung up there. I hope he comes back soon. We've had an outbreak of vandalism all over the walls, paintings everywhere. Anyway, if you need to find him, I'd say head north to the castle. North of the castle. That's where the sanctuary is. That away is a shortcut. And he marks it on our map. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's take a look at these paintings. Okay, they look like the soldiers from A Link to the Past. Just on there. Kind of precarious. But let's go this way. And we'll head north. There's no enemies or anything. That's cool. No danger. Yet. I'm kind of afraid of the beginning of the game since it's double damage and I only have three hearts. Oop, weather vane. Activate. A new weather vane has been added to the map. Okay, I don't want to save now. I already did that. Okay. Oh, it looks like that's Dante from our Ocarina of Time. Hi. Oh. Look who's here. Welcome to the sanctuary, Link. Eager as ever, aren't you? Is there something I can help you with? Actually, yeah, I'm here to see the captain. I've got his sword because he left like an idiot. Oh, I see, I see you're looking for the captain. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, you're at the right place. He's come to see my father. The captain forgot his sword. Oh, how unlike him to be so careless. Yeah, it's kind of uh, kind of weird. Uh, just a moment. I'll fetch him for you. Uh, you know, I could just go in, in there myself. Coming and going, going and coming. The captain stops by here more than anyone. You think he wants to yak with the priest? No, sir. Just make an excuse to see. I don't know how to pronounce this. I forgive. Cerise? I'm going to call her Cerise. Cerise there. She hasn't got a clue either. But I suppose that's what's so lovely about Cerise. Carefree as a bird. But old Dompe sees more than people, th people think. Uh, like those paintings. There's trouble. There's trouble. Oh, God yelling. Oh, God. What's happening in there? Dang, open door. The doors shut tight. Can't get them open. <laughs> He's moving is about like in a million miles a second. Wait, what, what can we do? That, that was Cerise crying out. Dompe doesn't have a key. Dompe just digs the graves around. What are you looking at me for? Wait, Dompe remembers. Dompe once heard of... Heard the priest talking about a secret way into the sanctuary hidden right in my graveyard. Kind of cool. Bad luck. Dompe, Dompe thinks messing around with graves. Worst luck going around under. Okay, this guy speaks nonsense. But you, you do it. If you get scared, just swing that sword around. What sword? That sword you got there, Dompe. Dompe heard uh, you say it belongs to the captain. Yeah, it's for delivery. Forget that. Get to swinging that sword. But I can't. What? Saving Cerise is way more important than some delivery. You're using that sword, even if Dompe has to tie it to your hand. If I have to. <laughs> you got a sword, sort of anyway. The captain won't mind if you borrow it. Swing with B. Use that sword if you run into trouble. Dompe would help, but these old bones are falling apart as it is. So go find the secret passage. It's got to be hidden somewhere in the graveyard. All right, you just keep trying to pry open that door. Good luck. OK, so now I can use my sword with the B button. All right, Ruby, that's my first Ruby of the game. One of many. All right. The graveyard's going to be this way. This time they actually don't mark it on your map, but it's just right of the sanctuary. Right over here. Just cut down these trees and push. I love that sound effect. Nice and classic. Let's go. It's dark in here. <laughs> Treasure chest. You got the lamp. Yes. All right. Right, let's go ahead and equip that sucker. Go to items and just drag that to my Y button. I got myself a lamp. Okay. Blue rupees. Okay, if you guys are not familiar with the, the currency in this game, which, God help me, like if you don't know. Okay, rupees are the currency. Green rupees are one. Blue blue ones are five. Uh, I don't know, there, there's no yellow ones in this game. There's red that's worth 20, and then there's purple ones that are worth 50, and then silver ones that are worth 100, and gold ones worth 300. And there you go. That's your rupee lesson for the day. Ooh, a piece of heart that we won't be able to get yet. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. 100% of this game before. Just point that out right now. Okay, here we go. 20 rupees. Oh, God. Two hearts of damage by a rat. God, I need a heart. Jesus Christ. I better be careful. One more hit and I'm dead. That would suck. One hell of a way to start this LP by dying to a freaking rat. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. This is the sense of danger in this mode is like ridiculous. God. Oh my god. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of my face. Okay, I gotta be super careful here. Can't wait to get my shield. Alright, the, the shield I get after the sanct after this little uh, section in the sanctuary. Um it's actually worth 50 rupees, so I'm gonna try to collect as many as I can. Let's see what's in here. A small key! Alright. Um, the shield can be purchased at the shop that's going to be in Kakariko Village, but that's the next place we're heading to right after this. So let's go ahead and open this door right here. Alright, what's in here? Ghost. Alright, if you hold the B button, you actually charge up your spin attack. So let me give that a shot here. If I can actually not, like, get interrupted. Damn it! I keep getting it. Okay. I didn't have to do it. Okay. I'll just show off the spin attack right now. Hold the B button. And there you got your little range. It actually kind of shows you, and then you swing. It's kind of cool how it actually shows you the range of your spin attack in this game. I like it. Okay, let's light this up. Okay, we've got to go through there. I know it's the left switch always. So the right one will actually spawn uh, snakes and rats. So just go with the left. Okay, let's just go up here. And I believe that's actually it for that little mini dungeon. Yep, we're already in the sanctuary. Get my sword out and let's run. <laughs> What do you want with Cerise? I swear if you hurt my daughter. If what sort of fiend dares to defile the sanctuary in this matter? <laughs> A fiend? How easily you stoop to petty insults. My name is Yuga, and I have come here seeking nothing less than perfection. And you, my dear, are perfection. How can you stand being so lovely surrounded by these filthy fools? I will put you on a pedestal, or rather, upon a wall, perfect forever. I suspected. You're even lovelier as a painting. I think that her grace will be most pleased. Hmm? Oh, what have we here? Another worm comes wiggling in? H how'd you get into the sanctuary, Link? Run, child! Why do you just stand there? Run! Not even the captain stood a chance against him. I believe this worm here wishes to tangle with Come on then, wiggle, wiggle, little worm. Ah! Ah! No, Link! You think you can challenge me? Why, I am the portrait of perfection. While all of you merely scribbles and squiggles, the very sight of you offends my eyes. Still, I'll be leaving this ugly world soon enough. I love how he just kicks Link aside. Get out of my way! Not, not even the captain of yours could stand against my might. For all his spit and polish, he made for a but a crude doodle on the wall. A waste of my magic. Farewell, fools! I am off to acquire what little perfection I can find in this gaudy world of yours. No, take, don't take my Cerise. We must warn Princess Zelda. Was that all a dream or something? Oh, God. I blame Majora's Mask. What the crap is that thing? My favorite character in this game, actually. Oh, you're waking up? Good. I was starting to worry about you, buddy. My name's Ravio. Hey, you listening to me? What, the rug tastes really good or something? I mean, I'm, I'm a traveling merchant. I found you in the sanctuary, passed out alone. Strange, if you ask me. 
it looked like you needed a pal, so I took the liberty of lugging you here in this vacant house. Seemed like the perfect place for you to shake off the snores. Say what? This is your house? Looked empty-ish to me. Dude, there's a bed and furniture here. What the crap are you talking about? Wait, so tell me. What happened to you, buddy? I got my ass whooped. Rub it in. You don't say! Some strange man turned a girl into a painting? So you got done in trying to stop him, huh? That makes you a hero, buddy. A real live, genuine hero, because I failed. I love this guy's logic. But why are you standing around talking to me then? You gotta report this to the castle. Okay. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. To tell you the truth, I've been looking for a place to stay. It's been hard to find somewhere good, so uh, this is awkward, but I mind if I stay here for a while? Just a couple of days, I promise. Yeah, sure. Really? Thanks a million! Finally, no more sleeping in the wild. Tough world out there, you know. Here, take this. I can't pay rent yet, but it's something at least. You got Ravio's bracelet? Real, but a gift's a gift. I know, it looks like a hunk of junk, but it's older than old. A real treasure, that thing. Uh, wait. Yeah, what odor? You don't want it because it smells funny. That's the smell of history, buddy. Must the leather, moldy aromas, the rich fragrance of a relic. Okay, fine, I'll admit it. it smells like a wet dog. But you gotta know, that's a good smell. Besides, it's a gift, so the least you could do is wear it, buddy. Now pronto, buddy, to the castle. Hurry! Okay, uh, thanks, Rabio. Bye now. See ya, Mr. Hero. Uh, okay, later, Rabio. Alright, um, that's actually gonna be the end of this episode, guys. In the next episode of A Link Between Worlds, we're gonna be heading to Hyrule Castle to warn Princess Zelda about Yuga's intentions. See you guys next time.